in the um, books that you have, there's always some place in the cover we can see these four different quadrants. And we can see the interior of the individual and the exterior of the individual. And we can see the interior of these collectives. Now we can see the form, the exterior form that these collectives take. And so that was a um, major breakthrough for me. And it um, signaled something that has just subsequently had more and more and more importance. And that is that each moment as it comes to be, what Alfred North Whitehead called a drop of experience, comes to be in at least these four dimensions. There's an interior and an exterior and an individual and a collective. And these tend to be the structure of moment-to-moment -moment existence. And whether you want to use it in a strong way and say this is an actual sort of metaphysical structure of reality, or whether you want to use it in a softer way and say, well, maybe, maybe not, but it's a fantastic heuristic device. It's a fantastic indexing system because without almost any exceptions, you can go to a human discipline and you'll find that it's divided into either left-hand path and right-hand path divisions or upper and lower path divisions or it's stuck on one quadrant and denies reality to the other quadrants but there are other sub disciplines in that same group and they will claim reality to one of these other quadrants. So it became really clear to me that these dimensions um, not only has some reality to them but you could particularly tell that they had reality to them because they were the constant foundation of interminable warfare between uh, the different sub-disciplines in virtually every human discipline we have. You can go to theology, and you can go to law, you can go to education, you can go to politics, and you will find a substantial school that says only the right-hand exterior forms, material forms are real, and the interiors are all epiphenomena or unreal or can't be measured. They're black box. We don't pay any attention to those. And that same discipline will have those who say, wait a minute, the interior black box is the major reality and the exterior is just, you know, secondary. It's not that important at all. So, This gave me a way to, at the very least, index most of the world's human disciplines. And I could see even, for example, going back to my own books, that each one of my books had focused on one of the quadrants. Um, because it's just, it's the natural thing to do. These quadrants are very real. They're very much there, and they grab your attention. And so powerful are they that they make you want to give a, you know, a simple parsimonious account of reality by just reducing everything to one of these quadrants. Um, and I'll come back to levels and lines, states and types, but the quadrants alone are, were enough to show you that there was something really profound going on here. 
And the conclusion I reached is that what was profound is that these four quadrants were actual dimensions of reality, but that they were ones that were often and easily overlooked as individuals focused in on just one of them and made that real. So if you look at the upper left quadrant, which is the interior of the individual, then the pronouns used most often, that's another thing incidentally, each of these quadrants have pronouns that have evolved over the years to refer to them. So that lends extra credence to the fact that these are real dimensions because language has evolved words to refer to them and to take care of them and to have meaning for them. So if you look in the, in the upper left, the pronouns are I, we, me, mine, plural, we, us, so on. Um, the lower left is, um, well, the upper left is often first person, the person who is speaking. So that's why it's I, me, mine. The second person is the person spoken to. So that tends to be the lower left. And so that's a great a thou or an other or a you or a you guys or a you all. Uh, you're the ones that I'm talking to. The right-hand quadrants are ones that are objective and have as their validity claims the belief in a standard objective truth. And so the pronouns there are um, third person is the person being spoken about. It's the thing or person being spoken about. And so you have um, him, her, they, them, etc. All kind of summarized in a big neutral it. And it is the language that science works with. So finding these quadrants um, was a really, really profound orientation for me. And as I started to say, I could see that my books themselves had largely fallen into one of these quadrants. So Atman Project and, and uh, Spectrum of Consciousness had fallen into the upper left. Um, Up From Eden was lower left. Uh, sociable God was looking at the sociology, the lower rightness of religion, and so on. Um, so all of that gave me a lot of uh, impetus to move forward. And so finally, after that sort of year, uh, year and a half logjam, uh, I was up and writing again.